This segment is about the frequent question we get about hepatitis B vaccine and birth and whether it's really needed at that time. The first clip you'll hear is a response to that question. Why do we need to give hepatitis B at birth when it's transmitted by sexual activity or blood transfusion and my baby's not gonna be exposed to those things? Dr. Levy does a nice job of reminding this parent of the other transmission possibilities and then the consequences of hepatitis B when infants get infected with it. The chance of getting hep B is very small, but it's not zero. About a third of cases of hep B are household transmission. So we know that you don't have to have sexual contact or blood transmission, uh, blood contact to have transmission of the virus. And so babies who are out and about in the world and touching things and putting their hands in their mouths are at risk for getting hep B. The big issue is that an infant or a child under five who gets hep B uh, has a far, far greater chance of getting cirrhosis of the liver or liver cancer. So it's important to protect them before they actually are in contact with the world. Thanks for watching this series of video segments. They were intended to show you different styles and different messages that you can use in your communication about vaccine hesitancy. So we're hoping that you can incorporate some of them into your practice as you continue to talk to parents about this very important topic. The first website on the list is the Immunization for San Diego Kids website. That's the project that developed these videos. I'd like to point out a few others. The National Network for Immunization Information, NNII, is a useful site because it has a section that teaches parents how to judge the credibility of what they're reading on the internet. The CDC site has good information for both providers and parents. And of course, the American Academy of Pediatrics at aap.org has an excellent immunization section. But all of these sites have useful information for both you and your families.